Okay, I'm going to show a little um, demo of this site, um, bullify.org, and I'm going to do it by bringing in, um, by looking at their website. Okay, so you put in, I put a URL in, so I know the URL I want, and there it shows me. But then we have this interesting thing down here. Um, this is powered by Bing, and the reason it's powered by Bing is because Google um, won't let them have their API, their open search API. So we click on this, and it's really good if you're teaching search because you can just go and look at what kind of site it is, and it gives you instruction about the domain name. Um, and then you can look at who is information, so I'll just click that, and it tells you all about who they are. You can see that it's registered in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Renew is prohibited, delete prohibited, transfer prohibited. Okay, it's in the host on GoDaddy. So you can see this is just some some blog trying to make a buck. There's his email address, should you want to get in touch with him. Um, interesting him. Um, this doesn't present properly, this is a cross up here, it turns off that page and goes back to here. Um, what can you learn from its history? So then it tells you the way about the Wayback Machine, so you click on that new window. And then we've got the internet archive and it's loading Bullify as close to date as possible. So it's doing that. Um, I'm going to load that one, here it comes. And doing that, it's going to the web archive dog. I'm looking at past pages of it. Um, okay, so we'll leave that loading. It doesn't seem to be working very quickly. Let me go back to this. Um, so, get that back up. Reference materials. And this is going to be helpful too. Wikipedia, blah, blah, blah. So let's have a look. That opens up Wikipedia, talking about the page. However, unfortunately, Bullify is not on Wikipedia. We can search for Bullify on Wikipedia. And, no. I have absolutely no idea what's going on, so that's a bit of um, Bullify bad, I'd say. Um, but still, you see the principle at work. And then you can look at who else links to this. So you have a site, a site link search um, in the body of the site um, sort of thing, um, which I'm not 100% sure exactly what that means. Um, Glean is actually part of the website. You can see a couple of schools here linked to it. Possibly the schools that the primary made it. Angelsoft Community. Um, Etc. Team 26, ICT Talk. Um, is that it? Yeah, so um, and that shows us there's 6,320 results. I did exactly the same thing a minute ago to, to test this, and it was actually 7,000, and it had teachict.com in here as well. Part of their key stage 2 um, work. Um, so let me go back to the page. So that's that. So let's um, try a different URL. Let's try. Who is information? I'm going over that. And let's see, so there should be in theory be much more. Who is that one? That's a registrar yeah. homepage. I'm not 100% sure what all this means to be fair. MSN Hostmaster, so they're hosting their own stuff. And it's a different service of their own. So that's cool. Again, go back up here. Um, well, it tells you questions to ask here. Who is tell you about the owner? look through that and the students can look through it as well. Um, what can you learn from its history? Let's pop that up and see if we get. While we're here, let's go and have a look at the one for the... No, that's just, that's the old pages. See, that's the Internet Archive at work there. Showing you old page, old ways. Uh, let's see what we've got on the Internet Archive from Microsoft. Uh, yeah, redirecting to its default PX. This looks like 2011, July 28, possibly, hard to say. Go get Microsoft page up there anyway. Um, so, reference materials, references can be helpful. Again, and obviously we're going to have Microsoft and Wikipedia, so that's just a Wikipedia link. Um, and then sites that link here, there might be quite a lot. There you go, 52,000, um, 52 million, sorry, I'm quite happy. They must be doing all right, Microsoft then. Um, so, but it's a good way to just give kids an introduction um, to uh, uh, searching. So you've got ser sort of searching methodologies here, the different parameters. They also have um, lessons in here. Um, there's a little um, plain English thing and a couple of other links. And uh, a web doc and evaluating, evaluating websites. 
trying search results in the boolean operators. Uh, that's quite nice. Let's go back. How the tool was. <coughs> that's loading quick. Cool. So you can see here, this is, this is clean, which goes with Boolify, and you have information literacy, data literacy, and maths. Um, I teach about maths, and it's going to have a quick look at what they're up to. And these are just different tools that you can use for um, doing some mathematical. So it's definitely worth a look. Um, you can see here. Um, yeah. So check it out, Boolify.org.